They never wavered. It was ugly. Um, I saw the best and the worst of people. It really does blow. Tackling social and racial justice. It's a topic that many believe is a challenge for the NFL in the wake of national anthem protests sparked by former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Well, during the Super Bowl in Atlanta, league officials and former players held a town hall meeting aimed at finding solutions. And Fox Eyes' Marissa Mitchell was there. NFL officials and former players gathered here at the King Center to discuss issues of racial and social justice. They agree that it will be tough to come up with one solution for all the problems, but they hope at least the conversations continue. I don't know where this thing is going, but I think we want the same thing. A search for commonality and solutions, a push for the NFL, some players and some fans after national anthem protests first started a couple of years ago. Former quarterback Colin Kaepernick and others led the charge, protesting racial and social injustice as well as police brutality. As a result, a mixture of public outrage and support. They never wavered. It was ugly. I saw the best and the worst of people. NFL executive Troy Vincent sat on a panel with other officials and former players Thursday. It was a town hall discussion presented by the nonprofit Rise. The panelists stressed there are different opinions on how to handle grievances, but they admitted issues raised by the protests deserve attention. We think about football, right? It's you know you have to win the game, um, and so it's. We are more focused on that, but as I said, it's a learning process and it's, we're in a relationship with the players. NFL players and team owners formed a social justice initiative, which focuses on education, criminal justice reform, and police and community relations. That's according to the league, but they insist everyone has a part to play. Know how to find that common ground and move forward as a family, because we're part of a human family, whether we like it or not. It's not just giving money, give some time. Go back and teach some kids, take them under your wing, text a couple people to check on them, educate each other. And now see us play our part in this general crisis, dealing with these issues together. Um, I'm proud of the owners, I'm proud of the commissioner. Uh, more importantly, I'm proud of the players um, for, uh, for living and standing on their convictions. In Atlanta, Marissa Mitchell, Fox 5 News.